hi in today's video we'll see how to load the xml data from a file to the database table and for database we'll be using the oracle and our source would be the xml file so to load from talent we need three components the first component is to read the xml file for that we use the t file input xml component and tmap is used for the transformations and the db component is used to load the data from the xml file so this is the main component the t file input xml component so to get this component you can get the component name from palette so just type the component name from the palette or you can di directly type the component name, name in the dgns workspace window so this is the window which i told so just type t file input xml so once you get the component name so this is the properties by default you'll see so you need to define the file name from which file you are trying to load the data and you need to define the loop path query and the column names so by default uh, when you are trying to load it manually you need to define all the column names so if you are having some 100 or some 15 columns in the xml file you need to define all the 15 columns and you need to set the xpath query the xpath query would be something like this like line 1 column name 1 and similarly for the second column you need to define xpath again but doing this is really not possible when you ha when you work in real time you might have some uh, 50 to 60 columns so for that we can use the metadata so in talent we have the metadata details or metadata section so where you can define the structure of the xml file before defining the structure let's see the xml file how it looks so this is the xml file so if you see uh, here the catalog is the main tag so under catalog we have books and we have around 12, um, 12 records so that you can get from the book id like 101, 102, 103 and it goes on till 112 so which means 12 records and these are the column names like book id, author, title, price, published date, description so we have around 6 columns and 12 records when you load this file to the database table so we should get 12 records and 6 columns so to define the schema for this we will go with the metadata so on the metadata sections click on file, X X I mean file xml right click create xml file book metadata then in the browse section select the file name for which you want to define the metadata so here it will be book so once you get the file name we will get all the column names so here we see like id author id author title description so we have all the columns if you see the xml file all the tags are under catalog and book so for this xml this would be the xpath the absolute xpath so under book so catalog book under catalog book we have all the column names like author title and id and all so just click all the column names just drag and drop to the field to extract so we'll get values from this xpath click on next so whenever you work with xml file if you see the data type as float or some kind of integer or cap or always change it to string so that would be easy to handle so now the metadata is created now in the t file input xml 
next what you do is in the property type go for repository and select the metadata which you created recently it will be uh, book metadata underscore one click on ok so once you selected the metadata and now if you see the property the file name and the loop xpath query and the xpath query everything is auto populated so that is the uh, one plus I mean, advantage of using metadata since the file name and the mappings are defined now click on edit schema view schema so all the columns are defined here now we use the map for the transformation and we map all the columns from source to target see all the columns are mapped and if you want to apply some kind of transformation you can uh, do some kind of string handling functions or date functions or string functions replace so you can do with help of tmap but then in the t oracle output uh, we define the table name and what kind of action name we need to do on the table and what kind of action we need to do on the data so for data we have insert update or delete and the action on table whether we need to create table or drop table or truncate table so now let's see the database table so what we kept here our uh, table name is book we don't have any table called book so what we'll do is and the action on table create table if it does not exist now let's run the job in the t pre job we are opening the db connection and we are performing the transformation to load the xml file to the database table and in the t post job we are committing all the transaction and closing the connection and in the t-log catcher we capture any exceptions and we are just displaying in the console now when the job gets completed now if you run the query we should have around 12 records in 6 columns the job is completed now let's check the database table see all the records got loaded so let's compare the output with the xml file so the first record is bk101 and we have bk101 and the author name is Matthew now let's some check some record in between like 104 so 104 we have the eva correct is the user I mean author name and the public date would be yeah 2001 yeah so let's uh, we have 12 records and all six co columns got loaded thank you